Dayton International Airport IATA, Day, ICAO, KDAY, FAA LID, Day officially James M. Cox Dayton International Airport, formerly Dayton Municipal Airport and James M. Cox Dayton Municipal Airport, is 10 miles north of downtown Dayton, in Montgomery County, Ohio. The airport is within the city limits of Dayton, in an exclave of Dayton not contiguous with the rest of the city. Its address is 3600 Terminal Drive, Dayton, Ohio, 45377. The airport is headquarters for American Eagle carrier PSA Airlines. The National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems called it a primary commercial service airport. Dayton International is the third busiest and third largest airport in Ohio behind Cleveland Hopkins International Airport and John Glenn Columbus International Airport. The airport is home to the annual Vectran Dayton Air Show. Dayton International Airport handled 2,607,528 passengers in 2012 and had 57,914 combined takeoffs and landings in 2012. Dayton ranked No. 76 in U.S. airport boardings in 2008. The airport has non-stop flights to 17 destinations. History In August 1928 a property in Vandalia, Ohio was called the Dayton Airport. On December 17, 1936, the airport opened as the Dayton Municipal Airport, with three 3,600-foot concrete runways and connecting taxiways. In 1952, the city named the airport. James M. Cox Dayton Municipal Airport, in honor of the former governor of Ohio and Democratic candidate for President of the United States. A groundbreaking ceremony was held in 1959 for a new $5.5 million terminal designed by Yount, Sullivan and Lechleiter, completed in 1961. The airport's name became, James M. Cox Dayton International Airport, in 1975. The April 1957 OAG shows 73 weekday departures, 56 TWA, 13 American and 4 Lake Central. TWA had two nonstops to New York but no other nonstops reached beyond Chicago Detroit Cleveland Pittsburgh Cincinnati. The airport was a hub for Piedmont Airlines from July 1, 1982 until its merger with U.S. Airways, which continued the Dayton hub for a year or two. In March 1988 Piedmont had nonstops from Dayton to 27 airports, California to Boston to Florida, plus eight more on its prop affiliate. U.S. Air and successor U.S. Airways kept Dayton as a focus city. The airport was a hub for Emory Worldwide, a freight carrier. In 1981 Emory Worldwide completed an air freight hub sortation facility next to runway 6L24R. Emory added to the facility until the early 1990s, making it one of the world's largest air freight facilities at the time. A $50 million renovation of the airport's terminal building, designed by Levin Porter Associates, was completed in 1989. A new two lane access road was built. In 1998, the airport started renovating the terminal building. The $25 million project was completed in 2002. The renovations included energy-efficient climate control systems, lighting, windows and entry-exit doorways, a new paging system, and ceiling tiles and carpeting. The news, gift shops, and food and beverage concessionaires improved their leased areas in the terminal building. On May 1, 2011, Air Canada Express ended flights to Toronto Pearson, the airport's only international destination, the airline preferring to consolidate its service at nearby Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky International Airport. To date, Dayton remains without regularly scheduled international flights. On August 12, 2012 Southwest Airlines began serving Dayton with flights to Denver International Airport. This was expected to increase passenger traffic by at least 15%. In 2013, Concourse D, which was built in 1978 and used by Piedmont Airlines and U.S. Airways for their mini-hub operation until its closure in 1991, was demolished. Subsequently, Concourse C was renamed Concourse A in 2015. Southwest Airlines announced a major reduction in flights from Dayton. Non-stop flights to Baltimore, Denver, Orlando and Tampa all ended April 11, 2016. This left only one non-stop destination from Dayton via Southwest. 
Passenger traffic is down nearly 9% since 2014, along with aircraft departures down 8%. Fares from Dayton have continued to rise while neighboring airports are lowering fares with new low-cost carriers. Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky International Airport has drastically reduced fares since 2014 while also experiencing over 10% growth in passengers. On November 19, 2015, Dayton officials announced that Allegiant Air would begin adding service in April twice a week to Orlando and Tampa. Allegiant Air would become the only low-cost fare carrier at the airport and would fill the gap left by Southwest Airlines' reduction in flights to Florida. On January 4, 2017, a Southwest spokesperson announced that Southwest Airlines would remove the last three daily departures to and from Chicago Midway International Airport from the airport, and that Southwest would move services to Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky International Airport, adding eight daily flights there to and from Chicago Midway International Airport and Baltimore Washington International Airport. Southwest's last day in Dayton was June 3, 2017. Today, the airport covers 4,200 acres (17 square kilometers) and has 5.0 miles (8.0 kilometers) of runway. It is served by six passenger airlines and has 16 non-stop destinations. The airport has an estimated $1 billion economic impact on the Dayton area economy. Topic. Construction projects In 2011, Dayton International Airport completed a new air traffic control tower. The tower is about 254 feet 77 meters high with a 12,000 square foot 1, square meters base building of office and operational space for FAA personnel. The switchover to the new tower was at midnight on June 4, 2011. Construction cost $21 million the tower project's total cost was $30.6 million including equipment and will eventually reduce the current staff of 38 controllers in Dayton to 12. The airport broke ground in April 2009 for a new multi-level parking garage, which opened in the summer of 2010. A parking lot improvement project began in October 2008 and provided for, one, the construction of a new entrance, exit for a new, red, Long-term parking lot and economy parking lot, 2. Reconfiguration and restriping of the existing credit card parking lot, 3. Installation of revenue control equipment for the overflow parking lot, 4. Upgrade of electrical and lighting within various parking lots. These improvements are to be completed in May 2009. The access road to the terminal has been undergoing several upgrades since October 2007 which involves the rehabilitation of terminal drive pavement, drainage system upgrades, installation of underground utilities and erection of new signage and other related roadway improvements. The airport began a multi-year project in October 2006 to the perimeter roadway network to provide access around the airfield and to enhance safety by eliminating vehicle crossing of runways and taxiways. The project was completed in November 2009. In June 2009, the airport completed a project to enhance safety by improving the 6R 24L runway safety area. Runway 6R pavement was extended by 285 feet (87 meters) to connect to the taxiway pavement. In addition, a high-pressure gas transmission main and an 8-inch (200 millimeters) service main were relocated from under the footprint of the runway extension. The installation of wildlife fencing, completed in May 2009, enhances airport safety by reducing the movement of wild animals on the airfield. In January 2018, the airport began another expansion focusing on the end of the airport with the ticketing counters and the parking garage. This work is due to finish in August 2018. Topic: <laughs> Facilities. Dayton International Airport covers 4,200 acres 1,700 hectares and has three paved runways 6L, 24R, 10,901 feet 3,323 meters times 150 feet 46 meters asphalt, concrete 6R, 24L, 7,285 feet 2,220 meters times 150 feet 46 meters concrete 
1836, 8502 feet, 2591 meters times 150 feet, 46 meters asphalt concrete there are 13 instrument approach procedures, 6 instrument landing system ILS approaches, 6 global positioning system approaches GPS and 1 non-directional radio beacon NDB approach. Runways with an ILS are 6L, 24R, 24L and 18, 6L has capabilities for a CAT-2 and 3 ILS procedure. GPS approaches are set up on each runway. Runway 6R is the only runway with an NDB approach. The terminal has two concourses, Concourse A has 12 jet bridges, and Concourse B has 8. Topic traffic In 2017 the airport had an average of 138 aircraft operations per day totaling in 50,391 operations, 24% general aviation, 39% air taxi, 36% scheduled airline, and topic. Ground transportation and rentals Taxicab service is available at curbside. Liberty Cab, Dayton Checker Cab, All America Taxi, Dayton Express Company, Diamond Taxi, Petra Cab, Charter Vans Inc. and Skyair, Inc. all provide ground transportation throughout the Dayton metro area. There are also several rental car companies serving the airport. On August 11, 2013, the Greater Dayton Regional Transit Authority began offering public transportation service to and from downtown Dayton. A new route, number 43, serves the airport three times per day. With the exception of a few unsuccessful routes in the past, the airport was not served by local public transportation prior to this date, which made it the second busiest airport in the continental United States lacking public transportation options. Topic amenities Restaurants include MVP Bar and Grill, 12th Fairway Bar and Grill, Starbucks, Quiznos, The Great American Bagel Bakery, Max and Irma's, Chick-fil-A, and two Boston Stoker Coffee locations. Several convenience shops and newsstands are also located within the airport. Topic. Airlines and destinations Topic Passenger Topic Cargo The Dayton International Airport once ranked among the nation's busiest air freight facilities and was the Midwestern hub for Emory Worldwide, a CF company. Emory, which was then operating under the name Menlo Worldwide Forwarding, was acquired by United Parcel Service UPS at the end of 2004. UPS closed the facility on June 30, 2006, moving operations to Worldport at Louisville International Airport. <laughs> <laughs> Statistics Topic in popular film. In the 2008 film Eagle Eye, the two main characters are told to take a bus to the Dayton International Airport. The airport's name was mentioned several other times in the movie, even though there are no actual screenshots at the Dayton International Airport in the making of the movie. The actual airport scenes were shot at the Los Angeles International Airport. Accidents March 9, 1967, TWA Flight 553, a McDonnell Douglas DC-915 jet airliner operated by Trans World Airlines, en route to Dayton when it collided with a Beechcraft Baron over Urbana, Ohio. Visual flight rules VFR were in effect at the time of the accident. However, the uncontrolled VFR traffic around Dayton airspace contributed to, also with high rate of descent of the DC-9 prompted, Federal Aviation Administration's decision to create Terminal Control Areas or TCAs either called Class B airspace and Class C airspace coordination. All 25 passengers and crew of the DC-9 and the sole occupant of the Beechcraft were killed. On July 28, 2007 an aircraft performing a loop over the airport at the Vectran Dayton Air Show slammed into the runway when attempting to finish the maneuver. 
The pilot, Jim Leroy, was killed in the crash. On June 22, 2013, a stunt plane carrying wing walker Jane Wicker crashed at the air show, killing both Wicker and pilot Charlie Schwenker. On May 29, 2014, a Cessna 201 with one crew on board landed with the landing gear not lowered. The pilot was not hurt. It was ruled to be caused by pilot error. On June 23, 2017, the day before the air show, a United States Air Force Thunderbirds F-16D jet, not scheduled to perform, was taxiing to a staging area after a familiarization flight, when witnesses reported a gust of wind flipped the aircraft onto its top in a grassy area next to the taxiway. Both the pilot and a team crew member were trapped in the airplane for two hours, the pilot suffered only minor injuries while the crew member had no visible injuries. The Thunderbirds cancelled their scheduled performances for both days of the air show. See also Dayton Wright Brothers Airport, a municipal airport south of the city in Miami Township, also owned and operated by the city of Dayton List of airports in Ohio List of enclaves and exclaves in Montgomery County, Ohio Ohio World War II Army Airfields Wright-Patterson Air Force Base